Okay, guys, Queensland Solar and Lighting CEO here giving you a, a review on the REC solar panels. So REC solar panels um, have always been a premium offering. Um, that's how it's always been uh, for 10 years plus that I've worked in the industry. A REC buyer is someone who loves, you know, the whole Scandinavian weird side of things, uh, different, unique and uh, quality, what Scandinavia always has standard for and rec fit that right away when 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 a lot of the market was selling you know cheap chinese stuff and they just even quality chinese stuff they just wanted you know europe done differently done a bit better as rec rec would say and uh yeah so a few years ago about five or so years ago now maybe a bit longer there was a bit of a rec was the restructure of the company everything they shifted all their um, production on all their panels to Singapore now. So all the panels are built in Singapore, not China. That's a point of difference, whatever difference that is, because it's all just machinery um, being operated there in, in Singapore. But, yeah, the, apparently the build quality is supposed to be better. But, you know, who knows? That's what they say, and you can look further into that. But that's where they that is a big selling point of REC. Um, interestingly though, you can get the Twin Peak series at a, at a decent price, but it's really nothing, um, compared to their N Peak or their Alpha Pure. So you got your Twin Peak series, which is just your normal run of the mill split solar panel, but Rec were one of the first to do it and they still do it. Um, and, uh, yeah, that is like their base offering, but they're saying that their base offering is a premium offering. Comes with a twenty-year product warranty, twenty-five-year uh, performance again. So you got that full twenty-year rec um, warranty, which I definitely recommend if anyone wants a decent panel by a, a, a good company with not too much outlay, but plenty of peace of mind. I guess that rec gives you because it wasn't made in China, <laughs> um, and it has a good name, rec then, you know, stumble up and get the place your order on a Twin Peak series. Uh, then you got the N-Peak series again, totally different technology. That's how a lot of the panels have gone now in the last couple of years. Um, Jinko, Trina, they all offer that, that different uh, um, technology there in, in the N-Peak series. It just means that you've got less of a uh, degradation the panel's going to last longer um, and for that they give a 20-year product warranty as well as the the baby brother panel but they just give a little bit different performance warranty so they say it's gonna it should be making more power after you know so many years compared to the the baby one the twin peak with the older technology so a lot of people interested in good panel get the NP. and then there's the alpha which is like considered the boss panel totally made differently um just new technology they're saying the the warranties are better again you get a full 25 year warranty on that and they're saying that it will last a lot uh longer than even the end peak and produce more at, at an older age as well interestingly though i have seen reports of uh an end peak and an alpha next to each other under um you know on the same roof with micro inverters and the end peak actually did make more power than the alpha so that's supposedly not supposed to be the case but um the alpha really their selling point is that though it'll be producing a lot more for a lot longer time and who knows could have been a cloud on that panel on that day that didn't make the alpha side a meter away we, we don't know but i'm just saying what i've seen take that with a grain of salt and uh let's have a little look at the um what i did notice which was a bit interesting about the rec alpha panel on on their website they got things like this on here to the layman that would look you know to the layman it would be a, a bit different you know but to me with a trained eye skilled eye um so you know they're saying that it's the best better than the other two it definitely looks a lot more modern sleek sharp fast it looks like it goes fast you know looks cool they look good lead free 
uh, to boasting about the warranty on it. This is the Rec Alpha page. But here you've got more energy from dawn to dusk, right? I'll zoom in more here. But you've actually got, they're comparing it with a 380-watt Rec Alpha, their flagship, comparing the pan, the power produced with a 320-watt normal panel. And they're saying it'll make 26% greater annual yield. Well, firstly, I'd like to say I hope so. And uh, to you that really still don't understand that, that's like saying here's, you know, 10 kilogram of of uh, rocks, but here's, um, you know, 12 kilogram of feathers. Like, of course, the feathers is going to weigh more because it's there's more of them. Like, that is what that should really be doing to someone like me or a buyer who's looking at this should be comparing that to you know, a 380-watt panel or pound for pound, you know. You can't be doing this. And then, like, I could say that with any panel would be making that much more or nearabouts. Like, that actual performance may vary. This was in California. Sim calculations, full 8 kilowatt. I don't know if I'm, like, that is crazy. Like, of course you're going to get more. So they're... They're saying that you got, yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. I don't get why are they playing games like that. So um, they're trying to say that their bigger wattage panel is a good thing. Well, 380 is a bit of a baby now. I don't know how old this page is, but if you fucking want to go down that route, route, man, I'll put a bloody jinko 440 on there and trump you by that much you know what i mean man you can't be i don't know what they're doing there but yeah should be more pound for pound store so then they're saying that the alpha uh uh yeah you got better flow of uh electricity current through that um through the panels like i said don't know if uh, how much better it does work, if it did work, why can't they show, you know, pound for pound uh, data rather than something like that? Um, yeah, see, they're saying it again, watts per metre square. So, yeah, and they should get a round of applause for fitting that 380 watt in, you know, the same metre square, same area as a conventional cheaper panel, but... Or maybe that's what they're saying. You get 380 watts in the same space as you'd normally get 320 watts. So if that's big to you, if because you've got limited roof space, it is to some people, well, there you go. But, yeah, just you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Now yeah, I've made my point. All right, so, yeah, and then you've got the uh, warranty again. See all this stuff? You can do this with anything. This is called virtue signaling. And um, it's pretty big these days, but people are getting over it because you can do that with anything. Like I can say these stats about the solar system on my house, you know. Um, improved performance when shaded, they're saying, that you'll get more more power out of shade. So that's pretty good. And then they're different here as well. All right. So, yeah, rec panel, we sell them, we love them. And... Uh, yeah, if you want rec panels, give us a call or call up your retailer. There's also yeah, different retailers that sell them um, and a lot a lot of people are strictly exclusive rec sellers because they are just such a good panel. We've also heard of barely any like product um, issues with the, with the rec as well. Um, so actually early on in the day when they first started, like years ago out of Singapore, there was a little bit of you know, transport issues and a few damage stuff going on and that. But that that's all been w w worked out. They're running like a smooth, um, well-oiled sole machine, I like to say. But, yeah, they're going good and they there's no reason not to buy, buy a, a rec panel. If you've got the money and you want something good, they've got everything from mid-range right up to your premium alpha. Warren is a tip-top and the company, fantastic. Really got a lot of time for wreck.